Megatheropods are the elite superfighters of the dinosaur world. Where most theropods are still formidable, these guys are essentially the dinosaurian equivalent of the Avengers. It's a difficult club to qualify for, and new members are rare. You need a maximum mass of 5,000 kilograms or more to be accepted. For reference, that's 42.3 Dwayne Johnsons. If your fighter is smaller than an African elephant, it won't get past the door. Fortunately, with recent discoveries and upgrades, our super team still has quite a few members on the roster. Some may get nerfed or buffed in the future, but for now, these are our fighters. We'll be analyzing them based on attack power, speed, adaptability, and durability. Let's check out what's in the F tier, then. I forgot, we're talking about bipedal dragons dozens of times bigger than a grizzly bear. Megatheropods don't believe in F tier. Uh, D tier, anyone? No, you're all too awesome. Okay, okay, that's that's cool. I, I don't I don't have a problem with that. No, no sir. That, uh, that's chill, that's chill. Our first drop in C tier is a fan favorite, Allosaurus, sometimes known as Saurophagonix. The phylogenetic jury is still out on that one, so I'm saying either or until we get a redescription of the Saurophagonix material. Essentially, this animal is a classic Allosaurus on steroids, and it would have used the hatchet bite technique to bleed out its prey like Stormbreaker nearly did to Thanos. You should have gone for the head. While fairly agile and maneuverable, it was definitely a lightweight as far as megatheropods go, and it wouldn't have been able to deal out as much damage or soak up as much punishment. As a matter of fact, it barely makes it onto this list with its bulkiest reconstructions. Also in C tier, we find Edmarca slash Torvosaurus, another moderately lumpy taxon with a history we won't discuss here. Let's call him E.T. for short. A bit bulkier than Allosaurus, E.T. was reminiscent of a gigantic lion lizard that pushed 5,200 kilograms. Its distinct stocky skull seems like a tyrannosaur with a snout made of stretched Play-Doh, which manages to be amusing and terrifying at the same time. Our third C-tier member is one of my personal favorite theropods of all time, Acrocanthosaurus autokensis. Its stylish sailback and savage aesthetic add definite cool points to its overall appeal, and it's the biggest in the tier that's been rigorously measured. At 5,700 kilograms, it's a full polar bear heavier than in Marca. Megalosaurus ingens, or potentially Torvosaurus ingens, is a megatheropod known from a single tooth discovered in Tanzania. Its species assignment is currently wanted for questioning, but whatever this theropod was, it was certainly huge. Estimates range from around 5,000 kilograms to 6,400 kilograms, depending on how the tooth is scaled. There's no real way to be sure about its stats. Maybe eventually we'll know more. Our B-tier frontrunner is an herbivore? Therizinosaurus is one of the smallest megatheropods on the list, and while it doesn't have much of a bite, it certainly packs a wallop. Those claws are absolutely vicious, and could deal fatal damage to just about anything short of a megasauropod. Its lack of defensive variety, however, and its low agility stop it from climbing any higher in the ranks. Now, Carcrodontosaurus is a classic. The shark tooth lizard, weighing in at between 6,500 and 6,800 kilograms, dominated northern Africa with an evil grin. It's the vanilla megatheropod design, but with a bit of an edge to it that gives it a punk rock vibe. Tyrannotitan trubotensis is another solid B-lister. While morphologically very similar to Carcrodontosaurus, it may have been slightly more robust. And Tyrant Titan may just be the best scientific name out there. Not surprisingly, Giganotosaurus also makes the cut. Essentially a beefier version of the previous two contenders, its media portrayals make it one of the better known megatheropods. Our last B-lister Dinochirus shakes up the meta just a bit and shifts away from the competition to snack on fish. Don't let its apparent gentleness fool you, though. Those claws can give a nasty swipe, and at two metric tons heavier than an elephant, Dinochirus has plenty of muscle to back up its relatively peaceful lifestyle. Mapusaurus represents an A minus. It's an upgraded Giganotosaurus, but the buffs are so small that they don't make much of a difference. It's a slightly bigger version of the basic Carcrodontosaurid plan. Spiky teeth, big head with plenty of airspace, and slice. Spinosaurus. Yes, this beautiful animal is A-tier, owes much of its popularity to how it's constantly changing. Our understanding of the bizarre and incredible animal has dramatically shifted over the last decade, and while it's not the metal-smashing juggernaut depicted in Jurassic Park 3, it's become far more interesting. Reduced hind limbs, high bone density, 
conical teeth, and a paddle tail allow it to rule the rivers, while its bulk and powerful arms present effective defenses on land. It's not a cage fighter like some of the other megatheropods, but its solid power and utility options make it an excellent choice. As I'm sure was a surprise to precisely none of you, Sidipati lands an S tier. This 400,000 ton giant, the true victor of Godzilla vs. Kong, can play the saxophone more smoothly than Kenny G and bake a chocolate cake that would make Gordon Ramsay wash his own mouth out with soap. There's also T-Rex. By far the most physically powerful of the megatheropods with a peak between 9 and 10 tons, T-Rex takes the chocolate cake meant for Gordon Ramsay and crushes it with 50,000 units of bite force. With the eyesight of an eagle, the hearing of an owl, the smell of a vulture, and the size of two medium elephants combined, T-Rex simply dominates. It was even deceptively agile, according to Snively Tall 2018, and for some reason its blood vessels were adapted to be resistant to cold? Add to that the recent study indicating pack behavior in tyrannosaurs, and it seems that the megatheropod poster child is in the top spot for a reason.